what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Representative Sean Terry addressed the Houston City Council and made a special request to the mayor's mayor pro team and the esteemed members of Houston City Council. She asked for the painting of a street mural named Hippie Hill and Miller Outdoor Theater with the words, Black Lives Matter, as have been painted in major metropolitan cities across the country. She also requested that the street adjacent to City Hall be renamed Black Lives Matter. Family, the question is, are you ready for a street called Black Lives Matter in your city? Is it appropriate? Well, Representative Terry seems to think so. She believes that with Houston being one of the most diverse cities in the country, we must show our solidarity and support for the criminal justice reform and we will not tolerate racism and police brutality for unlawfully killing our black residents. Big deal. Black Lives Matter going up everywhere. You know, the one that I enjoyed the most was the one that they painted in Washington, D.C., leading to the White House. Oh, that was beautiful to see. Absolutely beautiful. Now, Houston is not the only uh, city that is going to be taking a vote on renaming a street Black Lives Matter. On June 23rd, the Birmingham City Council will vote on a resolution to rename part of 16th Street North Black Lives Matter Boulevard. 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham is where the four black girls were killed in a bombing on September 15, 1963. And it's been the focal point of the nation's civil rights struggle for years. Now, here's my spiel, fam. This is where I stand with this. I, it's like I really don't care one way or the other, right? Now, some people say, why rename the street? You're, you're washing away history and you know, you put Black Lives Matter up, then you're going to have to put up Hispanic Lives Matter. Then you're going to have to put up Gay Lives Matter. Then you're going to have to put up Dogs Lives Matter. And on and on and on and on and on. Where will it stop? I get what these politicians are doing. Fraud or sincere. They're trying to show the world that their city, at least, is a beacon of hope in the ongoing fight for justice and equality for all. But I challenge the leadership in Houston, Birmingham, and all cities in America to move past performative gestures and move towards transformative governance. Without a social equity lens attached to that argument, the analysis of class, race, and ability, and the gender on matters such as policies, budget, ordinances, laws, even your vote and your advocacy fall short. You got to put some bite in that thing. Now, there are those who say, hey, you had to name it Black Lives Matter. You know, we can leave the street the way it is. Man, I got a lot of thoughts on that. Before we put up a Black Lives Matter, let's, let's tear down some, some of these street signs. Like all of the founding fathers, they all need to go. They were all dirty, dirty to the core, rotten to the core, wicked, slave owners, all of them. Let's start with that. Let's tear down, let's, let's take the names off these parks and buildings and schools and streets. That would be a good start. And you can't tell me that names don't matter because if they did not matter, America's military 
would not have removed Saddam Hussein's name from streets, buildings, parks, books. They would not have done that. Furthermore, they would not have taken our names from us. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?